on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to iCool participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3x3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hi, my name is Habiba Mohammed Mohsen Ali Amber. I'm from Egypt. I'm involved in RECAP Cold Space Rescue U12. I have been involved in robotics since April 2019. I start by algorithm. It helped me to know how to make a flowchart, how to make nested if, while, and loops. Then I study uh, Scratch. It helped me to how to make a games. Then I study Cold Space. CoSpace helped me to know more about machine language and strategic planning. It grew the idea of artificial intelligence in my mind. It helped me in problem solving as I can define the problem, generate new ideas, implement and evaluate. It helped me to turn a complex operation to a simple operation. It helped me to know more about compass position X and Y, and how to give a choices to the robot, and how to deal with it. It helped me to study the movement of the wheels, and how to play in the time or duration. It helped me to manage the order of the statements. I represent the robot, the emergency car, and the object, the injured. And I represent the blue area is critical condition zone and the super object is the critical conditions uh, then i would like to start with my strategy uh, first with the speed uh, i made the speed to be a constant to collect object correctly uh, and the robot will decrease its speed when it be in position X and Y of traps and when B by 30 centimeter by the wall. Then with the avoid obstacles. The avoid obstacles, if there's an obstacle in front of him and there is an obstacle at the left or there is a trap, the robot has to turn to the right. And if there is an obstacle or trap at the right, the robot has to turn to the left. And there's or two obstacles or two traps at the right and left, the robot had to turn uh, according to the space between them. Then with the blue area or the special zoom, uh, the robot had to uh, still in the blue area according to the map and according to my strategy. If I want to uh, make, the make the super and super plus object uh, generated, uh, the robot had to collect two objects, uh, two objects from each color which are existing in the blue area. And if I don't, the robot had to collect six objects, um, then exit the blue area. Then with the deposit, I prefer to deposit after collecting one color of each object uh, sorry one object of each color uh, to to allow the super and super plus object to be generated uh, and i use all the parameters on the map 
or most of it to reach the deposit. I use the compass, position X and Y, ultrasonic sensors, uh, wall tracking, uh, color sensors, all of this. Then with the traps. Uh, the robot had to avoid trap uh, in any time except when the load object is equal to zero. But sometimes I'd like the robot to avoid the trap at any time. If I want the robot to collect object from a place, and if he didn't avoid the trap, it will reach him to another place, so uh, uh, he had to avoid trap to be in the same place that I want. And when there is a two side, when the trap is shaped by two sides of triangle like this or this, the robot had to turn outside the trap by using compass to prevent wasting of time and if there is a two traps by the same shape i use position x and y with the compass then and sometimes i use the trap to reach me to the deposit or to direct the robot to the blue area or any place i'd like to go uh, that was my strategy uh, Ghost please help me to know more about pro uh, programming Languages I know uh, C++ and Python and things like this uh, And my future work is to be a part of Asia Pacific uh, For a book of Asia Pacific. Thank you for listening to me Hello everyone, I'm Wu Xiangyou I am 8 years old. I am from China. I am in grade 2. I studied Cospis F1 for 2 years and Cospis Rescue for 1 year. In 2019, I participated in RCAP 2019 held in Moscow and won the first place in Cospis F1. In 2018, I participated in RCAP 2018 held in Dubai and won the championship in Cospis F1. In the Cospis Rescue competition, in order to get higher scores and mainly design a few strategies, I try to control the robot without falling into the trap, without the collision obstacle, and try to search the objects as fast as possible. In special zone, we try to control the robot continuous search in the blue special zone to expect more reward points. When the robot is fully loaded, I try to control the robot turn to a particular direction in the special mark or move along the side wall to the collection box. Through experiments and competition tests, our algorithm is effective and has achieved good results. In special zone, the value of object in the blue special zone is twice as high as the one in the normal area. So when the robot goes into the blue special zone in search state, we should try to control the robot continuous search in the blue special zone to expect more reward points. When the robot is fully loaded and loading capacity is greater than a certain value, we can use the feedback data of color sensor, compass and ultrasonic sensor control the robot to turn and move to the collection box as soon as possible 
to expect more reward points. There are two strategies that can be used. Number one, turn to a particular direction in the special mark. Select the special color area on the map and make the robot turn to the direction of collection box. Number two, move along the set wall to the collection box. When the distance is less than a certain value, the robot will travel on the right side of the wall. Turn left when the right distance is less than a certain value. Turn right when the right distance is greater than a certain value. Repeat this until the robot finds the collection box. The disadvantage of this approach is that if the point cut is not appropriate, it can be a waste of time. But this method can better search the object near the boundary. So much for today. Thank you. I love Cospace. And off we go. In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Super object can only be picked up by the robot that generated it. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing.
Blue Robot has picked up a super plus object, that is 180 points. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is, 180 points. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is, 180 points. Red Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is, 180 points. Red Robot is depositing. One minute left. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot picks up Super Object, that's 90 points. Blue Robot wins this challenge, congratulations! Oh,